TIS 100. What's this all about then? Hiya, it's Paul, and you're welcome to the first episode of Paul Plays TIS 100. So, I'm um, after playing Space Cam and after playing recently uh, Infinity Factory, a brilliant game by the same people. Um, these are the puzzles, these are the solutions. So, I go on here, click Create New Program, and you're confronted by this. Now, I read a little bit about it. I know there's some, it's a pseudo assembly language. Um, and I st stared at the screen for a few minutes when I read the manual, and I think I've got a bit of it figured out now. So, each of these boxes, both the red and white ones, are a little mini computer, and you can have, I believe, that much code in them. So, what, about 10 or 12 lines of code? Um, I have no idea what this is. Um, I, first of all, I thought you, you had to sort of fix the red areas, but it doesn't seem to be that. The puzzle seems to be creating a solution despite the red areas, like working around them. So what do we have? We have these things here, in.x, in.a, which seem to be like a, some sort of stream you're reading from, and then out, like an output stream. So as you can see then, at the top of the screen here, above this box, we seem to have in.x mapped in here. So what happens when we run it? Well, when we run it, this move, this is a move instruction, it's written from left to right, unlike most of them, well, Assembly I'm, I'm familiar with, which would be right to left, but this actually moves from up to down. So it says take whatever is in up, which I believe means above it, and move it to there. So if I step it, um, we can see things lighting up. We can see 51, which is the first one in in.x, and now it's been moved to here. And I presume this will then run, move it down, move it down, and it's done. So if I run, we can see it going through them all here and then kind of stalling and nothing more is happening. So the program appears to be set up to run the first half. Up here it says read a value from in.x and write the value to out.x. That seems to have been done. Read a value from in.a and write the value to out.a. But if we look over here on the right hand side of the screen at the out.a stuff, uh oh, it's this is in the middle. So I mean, you could just start typing here, move up comma down obviously isn't going to work because down is not working so what would happen if i did move up left so in theory that should take that one in and then stick the 68 there so each one of these is like a mini computer it can run this number of lines of code there is a basic um move there is a accumulator which you can subtract add and negate to there's a little sort of backup bit of memory which you can access via a swap instruction just to back something up and restore it again and there's some very rudimentary jumps like jump on zero jump jump not equal to or jump less than zero should i say based not on as you'd expect in some assembly languages on flag set based on the last comparisonist but they just the jump is done basically on the contents of the accumulator, which is the single register, which stores values from minus 999 to plus 999. So there. So move up, comma left. So in here we would do move um, right to down. So each one of these, so we've got like a sort of mini parallel transputery type thing going on here. Move up, comma down. Like it's no good getting it out here because this is this seems I don't think you can map there's, there's no instruction that says okay I want to map in.x to somewhere it doesn't seem to exist so move up up comma right and finally move left to down so in effect we're doing what this guy's doing but we're having to take a more roundabout path to do it and we run that and it seems to fill them in it seems to do multiple tests um and we get this which is again quite look like the um output of infinity factory in that it seems to do cycle count node counts and instruction counts so yeah i'm not sure not sure what um 
what they are psychic yeah psychic counts yet yeah, number of cp cycles no count are these nodes um one two three four. no yeah yeah five and yeah three yes yeah. so obviously you can do a puzzle possibly by not using these nodes um somehow um but all the internode communication seems to happen through these channels you you t you take you do a, you do a read someone else does a does a write so to speak and you know the, the the data moves that way you don't directly access ram or anything like that so um let's go back to the segment list and the next one will be 10981 Okay, that's my first very, very quick look at TIS-100. It looks fascinating, especially if you um, like assembly language. I can't say I like assembly language, but but um, it looks it looks fun. So, flair plays to the guys. Um, I'm not sure how many puzzles, if it's just this group of whatever, 5x525, five five, or maybe there's another hidden page afterwards. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, possibly we open something here when... Rep when we've done 70 more of these of these puzzles okay um thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please uh click that like button on the video if you uh want to watch me play some more of the games consider subscribing to the channel if you have any comments about what i've done wrong or what i've done right please feel free to leave them thank you bye now